In this video, I'm going to talk more about the problem with Oculus Quest touch tracking. Plus, I'm going to share with you some interesting calculations to show you exactly when it happens. So stay tuned. Welcome fellow questers to Metaverse Adventures. My name is Immersive Matthew and this is a special follow-on video to one that I posted last night where I was showing how the Oculus Touch controllers with the Oculus Quest can lose tracking when you swing them very hard. Now the theory I had was that maybe the battery was coming off the positive terminal just slightly giving it a blink of power loss and causing this problem. However, this morning I've been doing a lot more experimentation, including trying to move the battery manually off the battery contacts and seeing how that reacts. And I've tried a rope to one of my controllers to swing it around to see if I can reproduce it. Now this is interesting because you'll see the way that I got the rope tied, it's going to swing in the opposite direction of where the battery is. So this should actually push the battery more onto the positive terminal and we'll see if it still gets stuck. So let's try it out. Okay, so here I am, in my home, and I'm going to start swinging. You can see right now that the direction of the battery is going to be going more on the positive terminal here. So let me start swinging this around. Okay, so at this speed, it looks like there's no problem tracking. I can see it going all the way around in a circle. Let me speed it up a little bit more, and slowly as I go faster and faster, there we go, you can see that it just is stuck. It see that sometimes, I'm going faster and faster, and now I can't see it. There it is. So that's basically the same behavior as when you swing hard. So it appears that there's a certain amount of speed that it can stop at. Now it's interesting because you can see here, and I don't know if you can see it in the recording as well, but when I'm swinging at this speed, I can see it in like frames. Wait, da, 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 da. And it's seen quite a few frames. That whole circle at this speed. I would say, you know, you're looking at maybe 20, 24 frames going around, the controller frames. If I go faster, not much faster, it loses it. So there may be a battery problem still when you're swinging really hard and the battery does come off the contact. You do hear jostling inside, so there could be more than one problem here. But certainly high speeds swinging around and the high speeds of your arm can lose controller. That's too bad because as you know in Beat Saber, you know, certain scores you have to swipe really wide, have a lot of travel in order to get a high score. And that means you're swinging rather fast when there's lots of blocks coming at you. So there may be a tracking issue and hopefully if it is software related, Oculus can fix it. And if there's also an additional battery problem coming off, I hope that there can be some sort of solution for that as well. I'm gonna experiment more to see if I can reduce that issue, if that is even the issue. I, I'm not so sure anymore based on this experiment today that it might strictly be that the tracking system can't catch it that fast. It's interesting because it's really not that fast. My arm full swing, I would have thought it would have been fine. I didn't have this problem with the Rift and or the Vive in their controllers. You know, the different technologies, for sure, these are inside out versus outside in. I'm wondering if you have any Rift S's out there, if you're having this problem with your touch controllers, and maybe you, know, you can safely do something similar that I'm doing and see if you can recreate this experiment. And so the other thing that I did to eliminate this problem was to put even more tinfoil in the bottom of the battery. And as you can see here, I've got quite a lot at the bottom, and uh, I still get the same issue when I swing it hard. And like I said, I don't know if the problem is the battery coming off the contacts, uh, it definitely jostles around when you swing hard, for sure. But as you saw with the rope swinging it around, it produces the same problem, even when the battery is being pushed more onto the positive terminal. So definitely more experimenting is needed. It just seems like, you know, the Quest can only track a certain swing speed. And anything above that swing speed, it just loses tracking. The cameras just seem are unable to, uh, to see it. All right, a little bit more I wanted to add to this video. As I was editing it, I realized that I was able to do some calculations on how fast I was swinging that controller. And so you saw me swinging, and so I knew basically how long it was, how long the radius was, and I gave a little bit of give because I know I wasn't swinging dead like this. I was sort of, sort of swinging around, so I calculated that. 
and then I was able to calculate how many frames a complete rotation was, and that gave me all the data I needed to figure out the spin. So, when I was spinning it, and it wasn't losing any tracking, I was rotating it at 124 rotations per minute, and that translates to 29 kilometers per hour, or 18 miles an hour. And when I was spinning it fast enough that it started to lose six degree of tracking and was sort of spinning in a three doff ball, as you saw, at that speed, I was going at 171 RPM, which translated to 39 kilometers per hour or 24 miles an hour. So I think now we know the maximum velocity that you can go is somewhere in the neighborhood of around 39 kilometers an hour to 24 miles an hour. Somewhere in there and above, you start to lose tracking. And so that's not a very fast swing, and I can understand why people who are playing the expert mode in things like Beat Saber, or if you're in a sword game and you're swinging hard and fast and wide, you can easily go past those speeds. In fact, baseball players, pitchers for example, go way beyond that speed. So there is an upper limit with the Quest technology, and I suspect it has something to do with the frequency of the cameras, and or maybe the machine vision, maybe it can't go quite fast enough. I'd be really curious to find out if there's any Rift S owners that they could do a similar experiment and see if they can calculate the maximum speed that they can swing as well. And I suspect it might be faster on the Rift S because it's using a much more powerful processor inside your PC to be able to record what it sees and translate it. I don't know, it might have the same 60 hertz cameras or whatever they are in the Quest. I believe that's what they are, but correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. All right, we'll see you all in the next video and the metaverse. Bye for now.